Hi, you guys. Thanks for joining me for 2021. Um, like you, my 2020 was shit. But I'm going to do a life update. And so I want to get right into that. For those of you who are brand new or just stumbling across this for some reason, my name is Mickey. Hi, thanks for joining me. Um, I apparently during 2020 turned into Garrett Watts because I just disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do better in 2021. I am taking quarantine super seriously. For those of you who don't know, um, I'm in a apartment. It's just me and my roommate, my roommate's dog, and my dog. There's my puppy, Bailey. Bebe. She says, leave me alone, I'm old. Anyway, she has no interest in my boring blabbering. So thank you that you do and you join this video. Um, with full advantage of the quiet because my roommate is extra loud. I wanted to take an opportunity to say, hi, I'm still here. I'm gonna do better in 2021 of doing vlogs, videos, whatever I can do because I need something to do. I want something to do. And I miss all your faces that are subscribed to my channel. Um, but yeah, 2021 is not starting out much better. So yeah, my grandmother had passed away a couple days ago and today was her funeral, which I attended on Zoom because I am taking COVID very seriously, even though some of my family members are not family drama 2021 um i take quarantine very seriously i keep my group very small as small as i currently can some friends i haven't seen in a long time i need to use skype because today was my grandmother's funeral and i attended using zoom i don't know why i said skype zoom um it was the first time i've ever used it I was supposed to attend a friend's birthday and did not for personal reasons, which I don't want to get into, but um, today was the first time I've used Zoom and so mm, it was okay. And my roommate does go places. She doesn't take um, COVID as seriously as me, but anyway, roommate drama, what can you do? Um, and learning Zoom today was a good thing. It was my grandmother's funeral. It was very sad. So I kind of look like this in case I needed to pop up on the screen at any point in time because I didn't know if I was going to be smart at using it. I figured it was kind of like a no brainer thing and it was, but, um, yeah, I put on my face. So I decided to make a video while I, you know, had my face on um but as you can see on godly roots lots of gray really need it fixed but like i said i had not been going anywhere so i had not been going to salons or anything either and i really want to get this done but with the uh super covid thing going around i'm kind of like mm, not really at the top of my priority list it's not worth sitting in a chair for a couple of hours and exposing myself to people i hope that you all had a fair 2020. I hope that you all and your families are healthy and doing well and staying safe in this pandemic. Um, 2021 for me has been more drama than I care for or ask for. And so mentally, I'm just, I'm kind of like zoned out and that's why I want to get back to making videos. I kind of think it will help me mentally, nonetheless, um, to make videos. I don't know what I'm going to do every day. My friends don't really like being a part of my videos. So you're going to see this face a lot. So sorry if you don't like it. I'm thinking really hard to come up with some ideas. I'm hoping eventually when quarantine is lifted people are vaccinated if they choose to get vaccinated this virus will 
go down, be a lot less. But yeah, I'm just hoping that by people getting vaccinated, that feel safe to get vaccinated, that want to get vaccinated, people who believe in science, it'll just slow it down. Uh, the dog doesn't know where she wants to be. Sorry about that. Um, and it was my roommate's dog. I had no idea she was in here, but she's in here. Um, so yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Thanks dog. I just wanted to do a quick life update video. I'm hoping nonetheless that it'll be a short period of time. It's been over a year. It's It's a lot mentally on a lot of people and as soon as I'm able to go out more and do stuff I would love to do more videos maybe I could see more people more people would want to go do some videos with me here's to hoping so that it's not just this face all the time because nobody wants to see this all the time I don't even want to see this all the time but um Here's to hoping that we can go do some fun things where it's not just my face all the time. I don't know. I have ideas for videos. I just don't have the people who want to participate in my ideas for videos. I'm hoping that when all of this gets lifted as far as restrictions and whatever, I can go to more locations. For those of you who know, I do do haunted videos on my haunted dolls that I have. I've got three. And so yeah, I'm looking at getting more. If you have a haunted doll and you don't want it anymore, oh, let me know. Always willing. Um, and yes, I do keep them in the house with me. Some people do not keep them in the house. I keep them in the house with me because I like to know it kind of gives me an idea of what they're capable of, what they're not capable of. But anyway, that's not why you came here. So I had tried to do a spirit box session the other day. And um, in the middle of the spirit box session, if I can find the clip, um, I, I was setting up for a spirit box. And the spirit box turned on and I was using it for a minute and then boom. The batteries to my spirit box got drained died who knows but um i went out no 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 so before that i forgot um what happened is i have a mic that plugs into the side of the spirit box so that you can hear it and it's louder and you guys on the video can hear exactly what the spirit box is saying that mic died. There's no batteries. There's no reason for the mic to have died. I've looked at it. I didn't want to break it. I tried pulling it apart. There's nowhere that the mic separates. Um, I can show that to you guys if you want to see in another video. But anyway, I had to order a new speaker. So I ordered a new speaker. Then that speaker needed batteries. So I went out and bought batteries for the speaker. Then I went to use my spirit box, turned it on. It worked for literally like a minute, two minutes, if that. And then my spirit box batteries were drained or died or I don't know. But it was like I really was not supposed to do the spirit box. So I went out and I bought more batteries. Then I loaded up the spirit box and then it wouldn't scan properly. So, um, for those of you who do do paranormal investigations, who own SB7, you know the typical range for scanning is around 200 on the SB7. That's usually the range I like to um, go into. But I noticed, and let me know if you're like an investigator or if you use the SB7 at any point in time, that when you switch to 5G, which I haven't used it, until recently, until the big switch, there's this really loud um, beeping that comes through where before it had not. 
Now, mind you, this spirit box, if you've watched my previous videos, you do know that um, my spirit box came directly from Gary, the maker of the SB7. And so what happened was the first one he sent, I got it and I turned it on and it wouldn't turn on. Like the power, not a thing. Changed batteries, did everything I could. And I'm like, not working. So yeah, it was like, I had to make a call and they were like, oh, it's really unusual. It happens, but it's like one out of every couple thousand. So I'm like, that's me. I get the one that doesn't turn on. So I had to send it back. He had to repair it. And then, um, I don't know. He was able to get it on, I think. So the spirit box came on for him, but it turned on for me. And I tried it several days in a row. I switched batteries. Like I did everything I could. So he's like, hmm, that's unusual. I'm going to send it back. So he sends it back to me and then I try to use it. And you see a couple of videos where I did use it and you don't hear the really loud ee while it's scanning. Well, now that we're on 5G, all of a sudden there's this really loud ee while you're scanning. I find it super annoying. Let me know if yours does it. I know that the Necrophonic app does not do it. Um, the Necrophonic app is clear. But a lot of people like to discredit the app. I would prefer to use my SB7 because a lot of people discredit the apps anyway. Or I would do both of them and see if I get similar answers, different answers, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I'd like to do more videos with my haunted dolls. Let me know if you want me to do individual ones. If you have not seen my other ones, go check out my playlist. Um, but yeah. I would like to do some of that until I can get out again and then hopefully, maybe, I, I live in an area, for those of you who don't know, who again just maybe stumbled upon this, um, I live in Michigan and there's not a ton of haunted places in Michigan. I know a few. I know some. I haven't been there. One place where I like to go, it's heavily guarded by the police. And so right now, not really looking for that. And um, I would have to go by myself and I don't drive. So I need somebody to come with me. But um, hopefully I have a couple friends who I think would be willing to go with me once COVID is a little bit more easy to deal with. And I'm not really afraid of contracting it or spreading it, I will be going to wherever I can go. But until then, I want to do whatever I can to give you guys content because for me personally, um, I need it to get through my day. Like it just, I don't know, it helps. So I would like to be able to bring you guys content in 2021. I don't know how, but I'll figure something out. But anyway, I hope to see you guys soon. I'm doing good. I'm not contracted COVID. I'm staying safe. I'm sa I'm staying safe. I hope you all too. I'm staying safe and I hope you all are too. And be sure to look out for more videos from me because you're going to get them. You're going to get them. Um, I know the last one I uploaded was probably the Christmas lights video. I hope that if you saw it, you enjoyed it. And if you want to see a specific um, type of content from me, leave it down below. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see as far as content. And I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.